and I, I'll say this, just listening to the commissioner today and just in general, <clears throat> his outside the box thinking just makes me more and more hope that the University of Houston hires someone with similar thinking, similar idea generation and not be afraid to try things different, you know, that isn't traditional. What do you, have you heard anything new on possible candidates or any name that you can mention right now regarding the new AD? You know, Chris, that, that thinking that you mentioned, I, I can see how some people would say, hey, look, well, the old way is not working. Uh, and, and you go drastic and, and you want something like that. I've talked to several influential people with within the university, and there's there's one faction that wants sort of the non-traditional athletic director, but then there's a large uh, group that feels the way is still to get somebody that has considerable college athletic director experience because – with with a, a an outsider, you know, just like Brett Yormark was to the college landscape. Yeah, they're going to do things differently, but there's still aspects that you need to be able to to handle uh, within the the program. And and I just I I think eventually, it's it's a sitting, uh, experienced athletic director, uh, just because knowing who's doing the hiring and sort of maybe what what they will probably lean towards it's, it's probably maybe the safe bet. Uh, but to answer your question, I, you know, there've been the, the typical names that, that have floated, you know, Jeremiah Dickey, I think at some point is, is still involved in this. I don't know if he's necessarily the front runner anymore, or if, if there was even a pecking order. I think he's a guy, uh, David Fletcher is still very much in this. He's the uh, 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 Lone Star sports and, and, and associated with the Texans. Uh, he's sort of the outside the box uh, thinking if you go that route, he hasn't been a college AD before. Uh, David Saylor from, from Miami, Ohio is a name that I continue to hear. Uh, Stephanie uh, Remke, uh, who was formerly at Texas A&M, I believe she's at Nevada right now. That's a name that I continue to hear. Uh, and then, and then some, some other ones, but the, the interesting thing is they, they have a search firm in place. Uh, but because of travel and, and renewed control was out of the country uh, and now the hurricane this week, they haven't really done a lot of the informal interviews. They, they've had third parties reach out to candidates and uh, gauge interest, maybe do some some groundwork. But I think this thing starts to take off middle of this week. And my guess would be that there'd be an athletic director in place at the earliest late next week. OK. I was hoping about, you know, by the end of the month. So that's great. And I'll, I'll yeah. mention this. I was driving around campus yesterday to pick up a colleague to come here, come to the airport, well, go to the hobby for the airport. And there is a lot of tree damage on campus lining the sidewalks. You know, the smaller trees, the younger trees that were planted. A lot of those that were blown over. So I'm sure the president of Couture is going to have to deal with that as well. You know, that's got to be handled by a certain group of folks right. in addition to. Right. Focusing on the new AD as well. Well, they and they also they've got to get this right. And you were on Kelvin Sampson's call a few weeks ago, and he called it probably the the biggest hire yes. that that she'll make. This is her yeah. legacy. Um, I do think that she's probably going to be in office maybe two more years through the centennial in twenty twenty seven, and then I think that's it. So uh, typically you have an AD for five years in most cases. So. This whoever they hire is going to be there after Renew Couture is, is possibly no longer at the university. So they got to get this right. And, and then also they got to get it right for the simple fact that from a budgetary and finance uh, reasons that I mean, they they're a mess. I mean, I, I, yes. I don't know if that's the polite way to say it, but they, there needs to be direction. Uh, and as Kelvin said, go get Lewis and Clark because you need somebody <laughs> to lead you to the new frontier. Yes. And, and, and that's sort of, so I'm kind of glad that this thing is taking a little bit of slower pace. So at least, you know, if it's not all just scheduling, at least maybe they're, they're sitting down and they're, they're, they're saying, Hey, let's, let's look at this really hard and let's start to, to look at who we think are the best candidates instead of just rushing and getting any candidate. Right. Got to get it right. Uh, 
Get right. Yeah, exactly. 